Hey, what is good, ladies and gentle niggas? It be that nigga Moon Monkey coming at you with another episode of Viewer's Choice for Glory. It's the series where you, the viewers, get to pick whatever character I play in Super Smash Brothers every single Friday. How do you do this? Well, there's a link down in the description below. Don't worry, as long as you got a YouTube account, you got a Google account, you should be able to vote just fine. And then we tally up the votes, and next week Friday, we see who the winners are. This week, I got three cactus playing as Dr. Mario came in third place. You play him one time. I believe who came in second place? I believe I came in second place to play him two times. And one who came in first place is uh, the nigga. Uh, where is this man? Uh, no, right here, Ganondorf. We'll play Ganondorf uh, three times, all right? So we're going to play Ganondorf three times, Ike two times, and Dr. Mario two times. So next week, the following week, depending on what you guys voted for, I'll play that character three times to come in first place. Second place character, we play them two times. And last place, we play them one time, all right? Cool. Now, my niggas, we got ourselves a motherfucking to direct to deal with, all right? And uh, a lot of information was shown. Some information wasn't, but that's how directs go. So let's start off with this direct, baby. We got a Roy right now. We got that guy. Let's get it popping. I'm going to try my best to kind of focus on the direct. I know the match at hand is going to be kind of uh, crazy, depending, because I, I think I am in the Elite Smash, so I got to be careful about these players. But we're going to talk about the news at hand, all right? All right. So right off the bat, let's talk about Mario Maker 2. Now, me personally, I don't care about Mario Maker at all, all right? I know a lot of people love Mario Maker. There's certain games that I don't fuck with, but I respect the craft that goes with I respect the fan. Base. Like Animal Crossing, I don't fuck with Animal Crossing at all, but, but I respect the fan base. I know them niggas are rabid and will fuck you up if you come between them and Animal Crossing, all right? I don't touch with, I don't, I don't fuck around with them niggas, all right? And the same goes with Mario Maker 2, all right? These niggas, have you seen the shit that they've made? These niggas are definitely diabolical scientists, all right? Creating the evilest shit I've ever seen in my world, but... Uh, alas, those games don't appeal to me, so eh, Dr. Mario really didn't really give me a chub or anything, you know? Didn't really do anything for me. Um, that Marvel game, I am very interested in seeing. I like the art style. I looked, at, I mean, before when I first saw it, it looked like a pretty much like a phone port game. But this time around, it kind of like kind of stylized it in a way, a little cell shading here and there. So now it kind of you know it holds up a little bit on the uh, on the switch. So I'm kind of liking the art style of what they go for now. I mean, obviously some of the textures are kind of god awful, but you know what? For these types of games, all right, we'll see how like at least the quality. You know, maybe not maybe look too good visually, but we'll kind of see how that quality gonna be looking right now. You smell me. I mean, I'm definitely interested in seeing it. Um, looks like it will tie into somewhat with like the. I guess the movies, because like a lot of the models have been taken from the movies. I mean, obviously, Captain America is going to not really look like how he does in uh, the MCU. But, you know, I think Miss Marvel kind of looks like the same for Groot and Rocket Raccoon. Um, all right, so let me see this Roy. Hold on. Let me focus on this match real quick. So I see this Roy. And he likes to go for the Nair is what I'm noticing. So what I want to try to do, if I can stick to the ground and cast this nigga with like a... Oh, oh damn, nigga. You just going to take, take it like that? I was honestly worried that he might counter that. But shit. All right, so be it. All right, I'll probably kind of juggle him with some up ears. I got off these platforms. All right. Platforms on Battlefield can be a blessing and a curse, especially if you're on the offensive or defensive. So I want to make sure I'm on the offensive and want to kind of get him to find his way back down. But yeah, that Marvel game looking kind of crispy. I'm hopefully they're uh, going to, you know, put some more love and care with that. As long as you're able to play with your niggas, get a squad of four people, hop onto each other's uh, switches and be able to play and do runs and play the story mode and shit. I'm down for that. That seems to be dope. I want to see like, the whole roster. Um. I'm very curious to see what exactly they're going to uh, announce. I mean, I think it just shows, like, the majority of, like, the MCU characters. Like I said, like, you have Star-Lord. Obviously, you're going to have, like, Black Widow. You're going to have uh, the Hulk. Um, probably Spider-Man. I don't know if they're going to have any X-Men. What do X-Men love, niggas? I mean, it's... No matter of fact, never mind. It's... it's what is it? Avengers or some shit? No, there is X-Men. I'm bugging. I'm totally bugging. I just want to make sure we have, like... I want to know, like, the whole roster. Though. I mean, we have, like, Wolverine and niggas like that. But, like... Yo, like, where my nigga Cyclops at? I think Cyclops is in here. I might be bugging. I just want to know who's in the game. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to get rid of this Roy. Roy is at like a healthy... Never mind. He ain't healthy anymore. That nigga's bones are broken, defeated, and crushed. All right. We moving right on to the next one. Um, I think we're going to be playing guys who came in second place. That be the motherfucking nigga Ike. We're going to play Ike uh, one time. So you going to... Not one time, but two times. You know what I'm saying. I said the rules in the beginning of the match. I'm going to cut right here. Hold up. 
my niggas, we back with Josh Snake. I see you with the big boss and the snake. I see you all metal here the fuck up with your profile. I see you. All right. I'm expecting a lot of explosions. I mean, that's just a given with Snake. All right. I'm going to try to keep my distance of all the grenades. I want you to try to put that pressure. Snake ain't really got the, the most aggro recovery, so he's kind of like a sitting duck there. So I'm going to try my best to punish him. But back to this direct. We're trying to keep it focused on a direct and not the match at hand right now. Um, Next up that I at least I care about because I don't give a fuck about Box Boy, which I think was like the next thing up. Fuck Box Boy. I mean, I know people worked hard on it, but fuck it. Um, We're going to talk about motherfucking uh, Smash. Now, when we're playing Smash, we talk about Smash. Uh, they didn't talk about much. The most that we got to see was pretty much Joker's uh, crouching um, animation and pretty much his back. But that's not really all. If you kind of saw like that first splash screen, I kind of paused and looked around a little bit. They tease that they're going to get we're pretty much getting a quote unquote big update for the 3.0. Now, I'm assuming that we're going to get a stage builder. Um, if you actually look at to the I mean, I think I'm not the only one that thought this. I'm pretty sure by the time this video is like, it's coming on Friday, a lot of people would by now have speculated that there is probably going to be a stage builder. Um, if you kind of look closely into the, the background, you can see like the menus that are kind of blown out, uh, blown out uh, behind the question mark. You can kind of make out. Um, some menus. You see, like the stage. You probably see what looks to be like Battlefield, or at least the background of Battlefield, and some menus and icons. So I'm assuming there is going to be a stage builder of this sort. You get to see some other menu options. So maybe they're going to add some mode, uh, some more um, options and features to the game. I don't know if they're going to like tailor and tweak some some uh, features existing, like quick play and elite play, or m bring back for glory. That's what I'm hoping for. Maybe that's wishful thinking for me. I'm not sure what's going to go into, but I would assume that the major bulk of this to go along with the stage builder. And and Joker joining the fray would be Stage Builder. So Stage Builder and Joker will probably all come as one in uh, the end of April. I'd probably say, yeah, like late March, uh, end of well, yeah, mid-April, mid uh, early May, uh, uh, I guess. Because when is when is E3? E3 is in July. Yeah, that, that makes, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I'm trying to think like they would probably want to announce Joker that close to E3. But it, it, honestly, it don't even matter. Honestly, they're going to announce Joker at, at April. We're, I guess we probably won't see any information. I mean, we got two months until Joker's drops. I don't know if we're ever going to see gameplay until he actually drops. Maybe we will. I don't think we'll see another direct. I personally don't think we're going to see another direct until E3 pops around, which is like what the next two, three months, I guess. Uh, what is it? June, July, some shit. And yeah, we will be in February, February. Then we got March, April. Yeah, two months. Then we got May, June. So we got like four months, I guess. So maybe we might see another direct, maybe. So we. But by then, Joker will probably be out. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to think out. Trying to, you know, you're trying to, like, at least put some, like, Nintendo math in your head. But you know the Nintendo math that you put in your head never adds up to what Nintendo actually does. Because Nintendo has their own set of rules and rubric that is, just throws logic and everything out the window. <laughs> Niggas been saying, yo, what a Metroid Prime collection. It's like, yo, it's definitely happened today. They said, nah, nigga, this is Nintendo math. This shit don't add up, nigga. Fuck. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I'm... Assuming, well let's, well, let's not assume. Oh, I want to make an educated guess or an educated prediction and say that with each of these, all right, snake dot body, all right, cool, cool, cool. With each of these new updates that we will get, or each of the new characters that we'll get um, throughout the year, I'm assuming they're going to add something new. So maybe like the next character, I don't know, quote unquote air drip, maybe you might get like tournament mode, but we'll talk about the next match. I'll cut right here though. <laughs> I, this is my first time playing Dr. Mario, so I'm going to have to do, based off of just fundamentals alone, I, I could going to be a problem because I got that fucking disjointed hitbox and shit that we got to be careful of. All right, hold on. Look at this shit already. Like, he's just going to near. Oh, all right, hold on, hold on. So we're going to have to honestly, like, space out his area. Look at this shit. I, what do I do for this? All right, hold on, hold on. Um, no, stop, stop. Okay, let's not go into the force bash. There you go, dash. Okay, yeah, I can't. Oh, I can't. I'm not going to be a bitch. All right, let's see. We're going to try to we're going to have to find openings for this Ike. OK, nice there. Um, but yeah, Smash in general, maybe we'll put each of the new characters that we get. Maybe we will get um, a new update like tournament mode. Oh, yikes. Shit. It's always nice to kind of get niggas with the eruption, but that shit don't feel nice when it happened to you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So right now we're done. Stop. We got to find a way to get this nigga out. All right, let's see he likes to overshoot his uh, quick draw, so maybe we could try to, like, I don't know. Does Dr. Mario have a kill throw? I don't know. We got to try play around with his throws. Oh, my. Look at this. All right, hold up, hold up. Young man. Young man. Young man, Ike. Okay. Please. Back in. Please. All right, he's probably going to. Well, can I read it out? Okay, so if I can read out his quick draw, I'm going to try to punish him with, like, an up smash or something. Back in. Get off me, nigga. Fuck. 
up here. All right, so let's see what we're going to do. Throw some of these. Throw some pills. Throw some Molly and Percocet, nigga. Hold up. We trying to get rid of that back. Hold up. Wait for it. Oh, I was ready. I was ready. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your ass. Best believe that. But yeah, um, a character maybe with a new update, feature, balance. We're going to see. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Smash. They, honestly, matter of fact, I, I, I talked about Smash for quite a bit, even though they showed literally nothing. They just said, guys, an update's coming. They showed us Joker and said, guys, an update's coming. But guess what? We don't we don't want to tell you yet. So I'm just like, what's the point of even announcing this, my nigga? What you doing? At least just at least it told us the date so we can look forward to like late April. We know when to expect it. All right, cool. So that's everything Smash. Now, after that, we got like Toad. Well, I don't even care about Toad. Um, what else they talked about? Um, that at least that I care about. They talked about a lot of games. They had like this Bloodstain game, which looked kind of like Castlevania. Talk about Dragon, uh, Dragon Quest coming to the Switch. So, I mean, I thought we pretty much. Well, not Dragon. It's like some. It's like some Minecrafty looking uh thing. So we have to deal with this. All right. So I'm. I'm still trying to worry about this. I, th this the Nair is oppressive. This Ike's Nair is actually racist. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Ike's Nair is very oppressive and racist. Like, let me do what I need to do. Like, how does Dr. Mar even get into this? I guess it's just a spacing thing at this point. I'm just going to have to put pressure on Ike. There we go. Hold up, hold up. Four throw. Throw some. All right, hold up. Wait. There we go. Up here. Read them the quick draw. Rolling me. Nah, you ain't with the smoke, nigga. You ain't with the smoke. Come on. Get back to the stage. Bitch. Okay. Okay, Dr. Mario. We out here, nigga. We out here to fix back pains and create back pains. Let's go. Hold up. Where is Ike going? You gonna quick draw? Nah, you ain't. You scared little bitch. You scared little bitch. You scared. That's good. No, Mario's fourth throw does not kill. All right, what's gonna do? Look at you nervous, nigga. I got some medication for that nervousness, nigga. All right, well, in any case, let me calm down. All right, so yeah, Dragon Quest they talked about. I ain't really a Dragon Quest player. Maybe the game may be for me. Maybe not, but I ain't interested at all in playing it. So that be that. Um. What else they talked about? Uh, they talked about some Disney game. You can keep that shit all the way fuck off my screen. Don't ever show me some shit like that. They talked about Starling, aka Star Fox Zero Two. Cool DLC. They really put in respect. I'm surprised we ain't getting no Ubisoft love in Smash Brothers games, but sure, so be it. Um, what else? We got uh, Yoshi's Crafted World. We kind of get a little more information, a little more uh, what to expect within the game. So that's dope. Oh my goodness, Ike! Ike, let me fuck you up, please. Let me fuck you. Why? Wait. <laughs> now I'm sounding like them thirsty ass niggas in the club. Ma'am, it's 12 at night and I'm trying to fuck. Let me fuck you. That's what I sound like. I, I just want to fuck you up. Please let me fuck you, purple. Look at you nervous with your counter. Bitch, come back now. Well, I'm going to try to read it out with a up smash, bitch. I feel good about that. I read him out. We gonna keep we gonna keep on pushing through. We gonna keep on pushing through. First time with Dr. Morrow. Pull the W out of my ass. I'ma dip while I still got my dignity. Hold up. Alright, we back out here with the Pokemon trainer. Also, this should be interesting. Alright. Uh, Ivysaur and Squirtle, what I'm really worried about. Ganondorf, I feel like I could take take on Charizard toe to toe a little bit. But Squirtle gonna be a little fucking small ass bitch and won't let me fucking hit him. Small ass fucking squirrel turtle. I don't know what the fuck you are. But anyway, back to the motherfucking direct. Um we got Fire Emblem, baby. You already know I fuck with Fire Emblem. You know I you know my love for Fire Emblem, baby. Um, I might do a dedicated video to Fire Emblem because you know I fuck with Fire Emblem. I might try to do like a more of like a deep dive, my fake game explain, shame explain on these bitches. Um, I might kind of, you know, delve into like the details of this video that they showed off in the direct a little more. But just off rip, just to kind of uh, simply broadly gloss over everything, they kind of explain the premise of the, uh, the game. So it looks like, I don't know if all three of these nations, they kind of have three nations. They got Fargus, they got Le Leicester, Le Leicester and Fargus or some shit like that. They got pretty much three nations that are probably like at war, but in the center of this continent, they have like one place, I guess it's like Switzerland, where like no crime gonna happen, like nobody throwing no smoke. I guess everyone comes together at that one point and shit. And I guess you're a teacher. It kind of reminds me of Ike, where like the beginning, like your father's like a mercenary, but I guess something happens to your father, but you, I guess, I don't know, what do you get? Like an internship at Harvard or some shit? But now here's where the cool thing about this game that I love so far. Um, you get like not only get to choose like your factions, but it looks like wh whatever faction you pick, that's gonna be your, your run throughout the whole game. Which is kind of like Fates, where you could like pick either like fucking Noir or Hoshido. But I guess it'll add like a lot of replay. Hopefully they don't split up the games. Hopefully it's gonna just gonna be one game, three houses, and you stick with it. And I'm guessing each one of these houses are gonna have like you know their specific type of uh units. Now, me personally, I do not like these type of like 
high school type games. What I mean high school type games where like you're, you're doing like, I'm noticing a lot of like social shit. Like I want to go into battle and fuck up niggas, but you are training in a war. So not really high schoolish. They kind of, they're, they're, they're doing some trickery right now because I don't like, like games like, I don't like Persona. I don't like the, like the, the social interaction bullshit. I, I don't know. There's a point, there's like, there's something I can't put my finger on that I don't like that I noticed that it's in this game and I know it's there and I can't explain it. But when I do my deep dive into this game, I'm gonna explain it a little better. But without further ado, um, I like the fact that you are a teacher. So I guess you're gonna be helping to hone the skills of your units. So it kind of makes sense you're a mentor tutor. So it makes sense that you're gonna be kind of like uh, helping to enhance all your units on your team. And I'm guessing some war or hell's gonna break loose and whatever faction or house that you kind of like pick to choose, that's the units that you're gonna have on your team when you go up through this war and shit. It's kind of like Hogwarts. Like you just pick what you want to be Slytherin, you want to be Hufflepuff. Nobody wants to be Hufflepuff. Or, like you pick what you want to do and that's gonna be your run. So I'm wondering the map types and shit that you go through is definitely gonna be dope. Apparently you can teach people different arts and shit. So that's definitely gonna be dope. Um, I don't know if they really explain formations or anything like that. But like I said, this is just a broad stroke. I haven't really have, I have to watch the video a couple of times to pick up on certain things, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking all the features they added to this Fire Emblem game. I'm curious to see what more. I mean, this game comes out fairly soon, I believe, right? I believe they said the date at the end of this. This shit is like, what, March-ish, I think? July, 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 July. All right, baby, this game, I'm gonna tell you right off the rip. If there are three different factions, this is what I'm gonna do. I probably will do a let's play on like one of the factions. I'm not gonna do all three unless you guys want me to. But by the time when the time comes, the time comes. I'll probably do like a let's play on one of the factions, and then maybe I will stream on Twitch like the other two factions. So if like if I pick like Fargus or Lecester or whatever it's called, then I'll do like the other one on like my main channel. But when that time comes, the time comes. But I'm very curious to see what they're gonna be doing for Fire Emblem Theories. I'm glad they actually changed with the logo as well. And I don't know how we won that match with Pokemon Trainer, but the deed is done. We're going to keep on moving. Uh, I'll just stick with him because he was a good Pokemon Trainer. I don't want to, like, find someone that's ass. I like this Pokemon Trainer, so I'm going to cut right here, though. Yeah, all right, we got him. King DDD with Ike. This should be interesting. I mean, as long as... I'm going to see what kind of DDD is. If he's, like, one of the, the brain daddy ones that kind of just throw Gordos... All right, looks like that's the one he's going to be. All right, cool. So we're just going to have to make sure we kind of be careful of the Gordos and trying to get in this DDD's ass. He's going to hit hard. He's going to hit kind of brawlicky. Right now, he's kind of just tearing my ass right now. I'm just going to have to adjust my brain to know that he's just going to be spamming Gordos left and right. But All right, let's see how this goes. But for all further ado, we got to move on to this direct. We got another glimpse of an upcoming game. And this one is kind of hilarious to me. We got a Tetris Battle Royale game. 99 players, one winner. This shit is nuts to me. They're making Battle Royales for everything. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, not much you can make out of that. Um, they also bring in Dead by Daylight to the Switch, which looks like a phone game. My mom's just going to say uh, I'm good. Deltarune, you could keep. I mean, I'm never really interested in the Undertale uh, Deltarune type games. The music is dope. Um, then they kind of talked about da the Damon X Machina game. Cool. I don't know if you're supposed to. I don't know if it's like Hunter Hunter where you're not supposed to pronounce the X, but, you know, they definitely been pushing this game quite a bit. Um, they also got this Gran Turismo looking game, which I don't care about either. Um, and he said, oh yeah, you could also play Grid with motion controls. You could miss me with that. Hellblade coming to the Switch is actually dope. I'm surprised this game actually made it to it. That's going to be interesting to, to see how it does. I'm really glad to see all these different types of games coming to the Switch. Hopefully people support them. Um, what else we got? Um, I mean, we got like a multitude of other games. Uh, Assassin's Creed, I don't give a fuck about. They got all these like Final Fantasy games and shit. But dog, 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 dog. Me personally, I don't really fuck with Xenoblade 2. But this game, this game, Astral, what's it called? Astral Chains? This game looks immaculate. It looks like Xenoblade 2, but there's like, it's less on the RPG side and more focused on the combat. I'm pretty sure there will be some type of RPG ish elements, but the combat in this shit look clean. I fuck with it. I'm pretty sure they're, they're going to be able to like upgrade and have different type of mech assistance. The art style definitely is reminiscent of Xenoblade 2, but I think I'll probably end up playing this game, whereas I never, I never played Xenoblade 2. <laughs> this game, I'm, I'm loving, like you have, you have different abilities. I'm pretty sure sharp mechs will have different abilities. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to have like different types of mechs and upgrade them and shit. This game gonna look clean, bruh. Dog. 
I'm not sure the premise of this shit, but all I know he looks dog. You like you jump on your like Zoid dog mech thing. I don't like all I know I think you like the, the police you the popo -po on this one, but like the popo -po got like some type of shit though. And niggas making like Resident Evil creatures and shit. I don't know the premise of this game, but I'm sold. From what I saw, I'm sold. You taking my money, nigga. Show, give me the money. Give me, let me wire you this money. <laughs> Counter. Nice try, dude. <laughs> I caught you the first time with it. I was like, all right, he's going to do this shit again. All right, cool, cool, cool. But yeah, all right. So all in all, I'm definitely hyped for Astral Chain. I'm, I'm looking, I'm proud. It's guaranteed. That's a done deal. I'm buying that. I'm, I'm, I'm buying that, baby. I'm buying that, baby. Off rip. Off rip. Um, but let's get into our final match. So hold on, I'm gonna switch right back to Ginor. Hold up. Ah, right, final match, baby. Once again, don't forget to go down in the description below. Vote for your character so that way we have, uh, you know, a better chance of getting characters you want to see me play. Um, every Friday, you smell me. All right, so we should end this off with Squirtle. Uh, but my niggas, my niggas, my niggas, my niggas, my niggas, my niggas, my nick, my niggas. Uh. That Zelda game looking clean. We got a a Link Between Worlds remake. They've been remaking a lot of these Zelda games. They remade uh what is it, Wind Waker not too long ago. Now they're remaking uh Link to the Past. This game honestly looks beautiful. I know a lot of people said they didn't like the art style. Dog, this looks beautiful. I, I'm liking this art style of this game. A lot. Now, will I play it? Uh I don't know. Uh, maybe. I kind of already beat the first one. The thing is about like remakes, I don't know. I would have to have a itch and usually Zelda games, once I beat them the first time, I don't want to touch them. But honestly, I might I, I might go ahead and play this game. I might. I might. I, I probably will. <laughs> I probably will. They probably will add some new features and new stuff to content and the story and everything like that. Who knows? I, I'm down for it. Um, but that's pretty much it with this direct all in all. Um, like I said, they didn't really show off like a Metro game, no Pikmin or anything like that. but. Things like that and stuff like that will probably come at a later date. You know, let me not rush it. While a Metro Prime game does sound, you know, a, like a smart thing to do, especially on the heels of Metro Prime 4 being delayed and shit. Um, but like I said, this is just only the first direct of the year. We still got the rest of the year to go. We don't even have to see what they had to announce for E3. Um, they still haven't shown off the Pokemon game. There's certain games they haven't shown off like Town. They haven't showed off. Um, they haven't showed off. Uh, shit what the hell retro's been working on we still don't know what the fuck they've been working on all we know is that now they're kind of like putting some team members on for the new metro game so i need to know what's happening with the uh, retro um i guess we need to know what the next dlc character is going to be for smash brothers i mean a lot of people said it's going to be Airdrick. i think it might be Airdrick. people say it might be sore i doubt it's going to be sore but who knows there's a lot of things that we need to see animal crossing a lot of niggas like i said they're rabid for animal crossing i don't want to fuck with them nintendo where they at though um uh, there's a there's, there's quite a bit if you didn't get what you want you know this is typically how directs go a lot of people leading up to the direct be like yo they're gonna announce this they're gonna be announced this niggas get all crazy they end up watching like game explain and like a whole bunch of like 50 other youtubers explaining all these leaks that they seen on reddit and 4chan and be like yo we might get this this and this and you got this preconceived notion of like yo we about to get all these games and when we don't get these games then guess what the direct is motherfucking trash um I did exactly that. Um, I didn't believe any of it, though. Um, I just was just down for the ride, you know? I I got smashed, my nigga. So I'm a oh, yikes. You got to be careful with that charge and that flare blitz. Okay, yikes. Um, I got pretty much what I want. Information, at least some information of when to expect Joker. We got it. We didn't get any gameplay. We just got a little bit of his model moving around about uh, crouching in his back. Um, and to know that we got some features coming through. So I'm excited for that. We got to see a couple games, some games that kind of surprised me. Like I said, Astral Change, I was not even on my radar, but it's all the gameplay. I'm sold, my nigga. I'm sold. So uh, there's a lot to look forward to. If you didn't get what you wanted, my nigga, I'm just going to say, just, you know, just, just tough it out, my nigga. Tough it out. Um, I guess after this Nintendo Direct, the only thing I could look forward to is maybe, isn't there like a Sony PlayStation experience or something that happens sometime these parts of the years? I'm looking forward to that, trying to see what Sony trying to do, um, if, especially since they're skipping E3. I need to see what Sony's going to be doing or at least have plans for the upcoming year or this upcoming year because shit, nigga, I don't know what the hell's coming out besides uh, Ghost of Tsushima. And I know PS5 has got to be on the way or some shit, so we got to see about that. Uh, but yeah, that's just the Direct in itself. Um, let me know what y'all guys were hyped for. I mean, a lot of the games I probably skipped over and glossed over that probably didn't interest me. Um, like fucking like Rune, was it RuneScape, Rune Factory, Rune, Rune, I don't know. It was Rune something five. 
I don't, I don't know. I saw that shit. I was like, what the hell is this? I know somebody out there is yelling like, yo, Root Factory 5. This one's for you, my niggas. This one's for you. All right. I'm going to be careful with this Squirtle, though. All right. Squirtle, I got to be careful because he can easily water gun me. I see him trying to fish me out on the ledge. I got to be careful about that. I got to be very smart about how I deal with Squirtle because Ganondorf, he's slow. And the moment I whiff an attack, Squirtle's going to be there to fucking punish me. I look at him choosing out the water. Hold up. Gotta, I'm done. I'm not even going to attempt that. I'm just going to just kill myself. There's no way I'm going to come back from that. Um, But like I said, Squirtle's going to be able to punish me for a lot of things. So I just got to be optimal. There we go. Near him. And it's, uh, he's probably going to... Okay. Shoulder bash. All right. He's probably going to jump. All right. I block that. Dash. There we go. And if he jumps back, I could probably fish him out with some up airs. I think an up air will probably kill him. I don't know if he's going to switch to Ivysaur, but if I could kill him quickly with Squirtle... I think that is my win condition. Kill him quickly with Squirtle. So hold up. Yeah, he's nearing. He's being aggro. I got to up here. I got to find an up here. Oh, that four year is coming. Hold up. Nice back here. He's just railing up on his one. Decent. Let me fall down up here. Thank you. That's all I needed. One hit. Squirtle has that tendency to just tear up your ass. And once he's tearing it up, there is just no stopping him. But all right, my niggas, like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to be here in the same exact place. I told you what to do. Make sure you go down in the description. Vote for the, uh, the next character you want to see me to play. And we're going to be here in the same exact place, baby. All right? So uh, I'll see y'all guys next time. I'm going to continue playing this motherfucking Pokemon trainer because niggas putting in work. Let's go.